we're asked to convert the given series to sigma notation. Looking at the first three terms, we can see that this is a geometric series in which a1 equals negative 12 and r equals negative 1 half. The three dots at the end of this series tell us there is an infinite number of terms. Because we have a geometric series, we can write r to the power of an exponent, which we'll call w in this case. If we write negative 12 here and set w as 0 for term 1, 1 half to the power 0 equals 1, and we get negative 12 times 1, or negative 12, which is the value for term 1. For term 2, we'll put in 1 for w. Negative 1 half to the power of 1 equals negative 1 half, and negative 12 times negative 1 half is equal to positive 6, which is the correct value for term 2. For term 3, we'll put in 2 for w. Negative 1 half to the power 2 equals positive 1 quarter, and negative 12 times positive 1 quarter is equal to negative 3, the correct value for term 3. For term 4, we'll put in 3 for w. Negative 1 half to the power 3 equals negative 1 eighth, and negative 12 times negative 1 eighth equals positive 3 over 2 which is the correct value for term 4. Because we have an infinite number of terms in this series, w can range from 0 to infinity. So this is a correct sigma notation for the given series. However, other correct answers are possible. Let's do an example of one. This time we'll write 24 here instead of negative 12. And we'll set w as 1 instead of 0 for the first term. Because we have an infinite number of terms, the value of w can range from 1 to infinity. For the first term, w is 1, and 24 times negative 1 half is equal to negative 12, the correct value for term 1. For term 2, we'll put in 2 for w. Negative 1 half squared is positive 1 quarter, and 24 times 1 quarter is 6, which is the correct value for term 2. For term 3, we'll put in 3 for w, negative 1 half cubed is negative 1 eighth, and 24 times negative 1 eighth is negative 3, which is the correct value for term 3. For term 4, we'll put in 4 for w, negative 1 half to the power 4 is positive 1 sixteenth, and 24 times positive 1 sixteenth is positive 3 over 2, which is the correct value for term 4. So we can see that this sigma notation also gives the correct values for all the terms in the series. So it is also correct. To summarize, we can state that both of these are correct sigma notations for the given series.